Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Drea and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hit that subscribe over yonder and the bell so you get notified every time I post new content. And if this resonates, let me know down below. Comment, you know, share, like, subscribe. I appreciate all the love and support. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys. And thank you to anyone who has donated, anyone who books a reading. If you wish to book a reading, my email is in the description box. I will not message you for a reading. Beware of these scammers out here, okay? <laughs> so, what are we talking about today? We're talking about who's getting karma for hurting you and why, of course, you know? Like, what What did they do, all right? And, um, because, you know, maybe someone did some shit behind your back. We don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, and what's their karma that they're getting for this? And we will close it out with what's the good karma coming to you? So, we have four piles today. We have pile number one, which is the Psychic Tarot. We have pile number two, which is the Game of Thrones Tarot. We have pile number three, which is the Dream Capers Tarot. And pile number four, which is the Uncommon Tarot. You can pick more than one, as always. And I love you guys. Thank you, thank you for watching. And I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the pile that you picked. Bye. Hey, what's going on, pile number one? It's your girl Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, again, hit that subscribe down below and the bell so you get notified every time I post some new content. And if this resonates, give me a thumbs up and tell me how or why, okay, baby? So, if you didn't know, now you know. We're talking about who is getting karma for hurting you, what's their karma, and then what's your good karma, okay? First, we're gonna get your current energy to see if this is your pile, if this resonates, you can continue watching. If not, you can pick another pile or watch another reading or continue your day on your merry way, okay? So, pile number one's current energy whenever they're watching this. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you're healing. We have healing. Sorry for the glare, y'all. I'll try to like set this up so it's like not nah, but like you know that one yeah it's fine you understand you know what it says <laughs> it says healing baby all right so yeah um i do feel as though you know you are healing and also you are a healer if you didn't know now you know i don't know why that keeps coming up <laughs> but yeah abundance is coming in because you have released all of the limiting beliefs from your past you're healing that stuff you're understanding your worth and you're choosing happiness you're activating all of your chakras you're activating your third eye it seems as though you get you are getting grounded you're connecting with yourself and most of all you're healing your inner child and you know you're looking beyond your outer reality you're tapping into your soul essence okay you are understanding that your beauty comes from within you are worthy abundance is your birthright and there's abundance everywhere and i feel like your gratitude is going on a hundred thousand million okay but i feel like you're manifesting the intentions that you are setting for yourself i don't know there's something relevant about the new moon that you may have been setting intentions so those intentions that you have just set they are probably going to be coming in but yeah you have a natural healing ability so you do have to be careful about who you surround your energy with because some people may want to take advantage of that but yeah you can feel that you're in this new vibe and you can feel the abundance coming in just keep doing what you're doing because i feel like you're the type of person that you may have um suppressed a lot of the emotions and you know now it's all coming out and you're feeling it and you're doing what you need to do you're crying you're screaming you're getting angry but you're, whatever it is it doesn't matter you're feeling it and you're letting it go and that's exactly what source god universe wants you to do so that you can step into this abundance purify yourself and let go of everything that doesn't serve you and continue to shine you are meant to shine bright i'm here shine bright like a diamond yeah a lot of y'all are meant to be really known really popular and massively abundant okay look at all this abundance <laughs> like easily okay you will be abundant even if you are not right now but you can feel it you know it. you see that the the signs you see signs of abundance trickling into your life right now so if that resonates at all then this is your reading we're gonna get into your oracles about who is getting their karma for hurting you
Okay, so this is somebody that you looked up to, you found very much attractive. This could have been an ex, or maybe I'm hearing someone, it didn't like, I mean, lift off. It didn't lift off. It, it There was like, maybe it was a situation ship that never got off the ground. Maybe it was a crush. But I feel like whoever this person was, or whatever this situation was, this person was, <laughs> they betrayed you in some way, shape, or form. They used the fact that they knew you were attracted to them regardless of the fact that if they felt find, found you attractive or not they use that okay in in a way to manipulate you they had an agenda they saw your power they knew that you would bring miracles they knew that you were magical and they knew that you are authentic yeah so this this is somebody who they were acting as if they were authentic they were they were like it's like they were mimicking you like how a chameleon blends into its background they were studying you they were asking you questions they were peeping how you moved in the world you might have noticed that this person was staring at you a lot or just watching your every move and you thought it was like oh maybe they really have a crush on me too or something you know what i'm saying but in reality this person was watching you because they saw your potential okay this person was definitely spiritual and you know maybe they gaslit you and um you know, I don't know. They acted as if they were this type of person, this spiritual leader, this person who was a beacon for others, you know? Maybe they, like, inspired people. They taught people. They acted as, as if they were, like, this good person. In reality, they were just wearing a mask. And, um, you know, they could be a writer because we do have publisher and writer. So maybe they work in com and we have communication twice. So this person could have been a teacher maybe somebody you looked up to i did say that in the beginning i'm pretty sure and it's like somebody who you know you were really there for and this person acted like they were there for you but then when you really needed them they were not there for you so yeah i'm here to take my breath away yeah this person this person knew this person knew what to say when to say it knew how to manipulate you knew how to make you feel guilty for like if you ever like came at them or anything like that they knew how to flip the script so it's it's giving a little bit of some narcissistic tendencies but you know everybody has a little bit of narcissism in them but you know i i, I digress mm. but yeah i feel like everything that you are is what this person wanted to be so they really wanted to emulate you and you know they kept you close because they were trying to study you see what you did because i'm hearing a lot of people like you and you know it's like you didn't have to put on a mask and this person was probably getting exhausted or something and then they started to show face and i feel like you saw it and then you either left this person or you started moving different but we're gonna see what's the karma that they're getting for hurting you Okay, so first of all, this karma that this person is getting is one, they will never have access to you again, ever. And honestly, they're going to be broken, whether heartbroken, I'm not sure because especially if this was an ex, it doesn't have to be romantic, but for the majority of you, because you know, it had um companion and then something else I don't remember. Is definitely romantic oh don juan so you know there was like a seduction here this person definitely knew you found them attractive okay and even if they found you attractive i don't think that they had like they never they just wanted to like get something out of you but we already knew that so anyway the thing about you is you're accepting yourself and this person is going to pick apart themselves their karma for hurting you in whatever way that they did is they're going to tear themselves apart and also they're going to be teared up by a lot of people for not being authentic people are going to start seeing right through them okay people are going to see the truth of this situation people are going to start trusting their intuition on the person or the people i don't know because I feel like it could be multiple people for you guys, but um, if it's romantic, it's probably just one person, but it could be more than one ex, but that was a specific, like, story, so, yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, <laughs> what what's going on here is that you're going to accept yourself, and your authenticity is going to bring you about massive amounts of good luck, 
okay? It's going to be your strength and help you to guide, and it's also going to be an inspiration, so you are going to manifest a lot of success in regards to something that you've been working on, okay? And also your intuition is going to be leveling up. Their intuition is going to be falling apart. They are no longer aligned with you. Their karma is that their intuition or their psychic gifts could be getting stripped from them, okay? Things are going to get a lot harder for them because they decided to try and take advantage of a chosen one, okay? This is very much giving like you are a chosen one. You are very much a divine being. This person knew that. They took advantage of it. They may have even took advantage of your gifts, tried to use you for your gifts. You know, I don't know what this is, but I don't like it. But yeah, you were, um, maybe you weren't on a level that they were at. So they kind of like, you know, felt like they were better than you. And now it's like, they're going to get taken down a peg. They're going to, you know, never have access to you again, which is going to, that's the thing that's going to hurt them the most because I feel like they're very egotistical. And for you to not give them your energy, even though they felt like they had you wrapped in the, this is the person who thought you would never leave, or they thought that you were like wrapped in like, they had you in the bag, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? And now they're... Go oh, you know what's funny? It's also they're going to have dreams about you. They're going to dream about you. And they're also going to see how lucky you become and how abundant you become. This also could be a Capricorn or a Sagittarius. But yeah, whoever this person was, like the world... You're manifesting your dream life. And that's going to be placed in the palm of your hands with ease and grace. And if this person wants to ever like regain their success because I do feel like this person was successful they're gonna have to figure out a way to either apologize to you or like just pray or something because you know what I'm saying I do feel like the angels are gonna be whooping your your aunt you have a very strong team and they're gonna be whooping whoever this person was okay yeah this person I mean, they're very they could have been yeah because Capricorn is devil energy but this person was very toxic very like you know even non-committal for some of you guys this person could have cheated this person was just somebody who was just not for you somebody who was placed in your life to show you what you deserve and what you don't deserve and made you you know act out of self-love and that's what you're doing so now we're gonna see but yeah, so pretty much they're going to see that you're going to become stronger. You're going to be lucky in the love department, especially if this is an ex, because this is like Cupid's arrow, okay? And it says luck on your side. So a new kind of love is coming in for you. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could just be like deeper connections or like, you know, a new best friend or whatever it is. But like, and also something that you've been working on that maybe this person doubted is going to become successful because you're going to trust your intuition your intu intuitive abilities are going to get stronger thus you will keep the boundaries like stepped up with this person and you are going to change and align and this person is going to unalign and completely fall apart and um it's like they're going to be begging for your forgiveness or begging for you to help them and you're going to say no but yeah let's get into what your good karma is it's your new era your rebirthing we have transformation which is the death card and we have intuition and the freaking high priestess so you have a lot of new options coming in okay and i feel like you know you you're coming out of this anxious time okay maybe you were anxious about finances because we do have the five of pentacles and it's i feel like this is mainly about money but also just something that you were trying to manifest you were anxious because you felt it wasn't coming you felt like you were stuck in this kind of reality and now you're quantum leaping and you're transforming into this new person okay your shadow self is no longer running this show. You're leading through your heart chakra, okay? This is the Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled. You're going to be able to stand on your own two feet independently. Some of you guys are going to go viral with this new beginnings in regards to uh, Aquarius energy. So I do feel like maybe some of you guys are going to go viral if you are a social media or content creator, okay? Or... Your business is going to blow up. I'm here in TikTok shop, so I'm going to have TikTok shop. But if you don't, regardless, your Etsy or whatever you have your business on, you know, Shopify, it doesn't matter. I feel like you're going to be gaining, yeah, whatever it is, gaining clients because you could work in a shop or have your own shop because I said Shopify. So either way, you're going to be getting more clients and whatever this is, it's like a new phase in regards to your finances. You're no longer going to be lacking. I do feel like because of all these different colors, you're going to be making multiple sources of income. Sorry for the glare, y'all you know we're just gonna leave it yeah we're just gonna leave it we're just gonna
of a surrender. <laughs> <laughs> but you're also going to get out of your head. I feel like if you've been having trouble sleeping or if you've just been anxious about everything or you've been having trouble making a decision, you're finally going to be able to understand what path that you want to take and you're going to take whatever moves you forward in a positive light, okay? And it's going to happen fast and it's going to bring you success, okay? We have the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Accelerated Motion, which is the eight of wands and then the universe which is the world card you're closing out certain cycles especially with this death card right here you're closing out cycles and you're coming into a new beginning the fool it's a, a it's a risk that you're taking that's going to bring about you being happy enthusiastic okay maybe you've been going through a type a time period where it's like you felt like everything was against you things were hard you were picking up scraps and it's just like now you're finally going to get received some type of communication that is going to bring you happiness make you feel successful make you feel excited make you feel protected make you feel loved again make you believe that the divine has your back make you see how many treasures that you have it's going to be an overflow an overflow of abundance an overflow of emotions that are happy that are going to make you so ecstatic and also i do feel as though you know a lot of communication in regards to whatever business or whatever because i think that you guys are doing something you're working on something because i was talking about that in the in the whatever we were saying before, I can't remember when I, you know, we, we forget when we're ch channeling sometimes. We. Okay. Anyway, moving on. But yeah, some of you guys also could be getting travel. You could be able to travel because of a passion project that you have been working on. It could have to do with communication. So I'm definitely thinking something with your social media is going to bring about a new opportunity and it's a wish fulfillment. It's a wish fulfillment that you're not going to expect. It's going to shock you, but you're just going to be so successful and you're not going to have to worry about anything anymore. I feel like everything, I think that this one, whatever this is, this one new opportunity that you're going to move, it could be a job or something like that. Some, and I said move. Maybe some of you guys are going to move and that's also your good karma is you're going to be moving out of a place that you felt trapped in, a place that you didn't like, a place that didn't feel safe for you. Oh, I love this. I love it so much. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah. I also do feel like you're going to be more comfortable in your body. Okay? You're going to be wearing clothes that, like, make you look better, make you feel better, just make you all around better. Or maybe you're going get, to be getting new clothes. I'm hearing shopping sprees. So some of you guys could have more money to buy certain clothes. Also, certain products that help you to feel good. Or maybe get your hair done or your nails done again. Because I do feel like maybe there was a time period when you didn't have the money or the funds to be able to invest in yourself. And you had to, like, you know, budget carefully and stuff like that. But now you're going to have more leeway in regards to you know doing the things that you usually used to do before when you had a lot of abundance because i do feel like this was just a uh just a little phase a little test from the universe because you know what i'm saying the transformation it was definitely something you went through that because something needed to end it end and it did and um it definitely had to do with your mindset and maybe you were in a lack of mentality or maybe you were focused on the problems instead of the solutions and you shifted out of that and thus that is bringing about new beginnings on multiple levels all right yes pile number one i love this all right i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever i love you guys thank you thank you thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye Ooh, what's up, pal number two? Shit, my bad. <laughs> it's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, hit that subscribe down below and the bell so you get notified each and every time I post new content. And if this resonates, give me a good old thumbs up, baby, and comment. Let me know how or why. All right, so we're going to use your current energy. Then we're going to see who's getting karma for hurting you. Then we're going to see what's their karma. Okay, oh, we're going to see why, too. And then we will close it out with what's your good karma? What good karma is coming to you? I fucking loved Paolo and Paolo was dope. Well, besides the person who was hurting them. But you know what I mean. Like the good karma part, I was like, yeah, good good for Pal 1. So let's see. I'm excited to see what comes out for you, Pal 2. What's Pal 2's current energy? As always, if this doesn't resonate, you can pick another pile or watch another reading or carry on one 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 about your day on your merry way as it seems as though you are going on a journey and if you've been asking for help praying for help your ancestors your your, your angels they are coming through to help you okay we have journey we have nature signs and you're receiving signs 
yeah, light codes, you're getting downloads and you're going to get an inspiration, an inspired idea, actually. You're going to take some type of inspired idea and apply it or make it into action, okay? You were going through a dark situation and I feel like you're shifting out of that and it's like you're healing yourself. You're also being healed by source. You know, maybe you've been feeling icky, you've been feeling drained, exhausted, just down and out, okay? I don't know, I'm giving, it's giving like you were just going through maybe like a dark night of the soul or you were releasing healing or something happened that hurt you, somebody maybe hurt you. But you are receiving a lot of protection from an angelic ex assistance. Oh my god. Let me grab my, my... Yeah. But anyway, just pay attention. You know, maybe go into nature or something like that. You are going to be receiving abundance as well because of this big-ass rabbit over here. But yeah, get your passport, baby. Or maybe you guys are going to get your passport or you're going to be using your passport very soon. Okay, because you're going on a trip with these mushrooms too. It could be a spiritual journey. It doesn't actually mean that you have to be traveling. It could just mean that, you know, some of you guys are going to be astral traveling soon. Or you could also be, um, I don't know. I just feel like you're just leveling up spiritually as well. You know, this is not something that you planned for. You didn't plan. Maybe it's a new psychic ability coming in that you're going to be like learning or mastering. Maybe you just discovered this and it was kind of hard for you to like integrate this because, you know, sometimes when you discover new psychic abilities, it may be overwhelming. And now like, you know, your ancestors and your angels are helping you and you're receiving guidance or some type of inspiration or something is going to help you to, you know, be able to integrate these new abilities for you, for those of you who have received new abilities. But yeah, you're going to be feeling more inspired, more excited, and you're going to be stepping into a new path or on a new journey, and you're going to be prepared for it. You have everything, everything that you need to do this, okay? This situation will work in your favor. And yes, there will be people who may want to stop you from taking a leap towards this journey or you know a lot of people who maybe attack you because they want this journey for themselves but you will be protected so do not you know do not rebuttal do not retaliate they'll get their karma okay but anyway speaking of karma yeah <laughs> that's what we're talking about so let's see who is getting their karma for hurting you okay so who is getting their karma this could be someone that you used to work with and um or you used to be friends with somebody this was somebody who you you may have both been in um positions of power or leadership maybe this was like a coworker, and you were both like managers or something like that you know oh even, we have a restaurateur so maybe you worked at a restaurant for some of you guys take it as it resonates but regardless it's giving like work vibes okay this is somebody who you know you <laughs> maybe you were their boss and they didn't like that okay maybe you were both equal and then somebody became on a higher status because they put in more work or they had more talent or they just not even like had more talent but just like you know they were just more prepared they were more involved they were more focused than the other person they put in the work so they probably got promoted or whatever because we have this king so it's giving like somebody got left behind Somebody got left behind and then somebody started talking shit, okay? Somebody started talking shit. Somebody was, you know, kind of upset that you were getting more money. <laughs> or this could be somebody who is in the same field or branch as you or something like that because we do have a lawyer here. And, you know, I feel like especially if this person was like, um... Because we have trust in the magic. And then we have trickster with this like magician energy over here. So it's giving like somebody may have been dabbling in the arts. And if this person did dabble in the arts, they may have like said some things, incantations, or even did candle magic against you or something like that. Or paid a practitioner because they saw your shine and they didn't like that and they wanted you to go down. So yeah, but this is somebody who, you know... They didn't think it was fair that you were town. Oh, and it could just be somebody. It doesn't have to be like somebody that you worked with. It also could have been somebody that you knew since childhood or somebody who has a child or somebody who, you know, you, 
maybe you felt close to. Maybe this was somebody who was like, you both had like this childlike energy together. So, you know, you were trusting of this person and, um, now all of a sudden, you know, maybe you leveled up, this person couldn't keep up, they didn't like that. So it's either they spread rumors because this watch your words or they did some voodoo hoodoo shit and try to pull some magic shit on you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I feel like, you know, there was somebody in the middle of this situation. So maybe y'all found out about the, the gossip or the drama. It could have been like someone spreading rumors at work and shit like that. But yeah, this is somebody who was talking about you and talking on your name spitting shit on your name pretty much yeah so this is somebody who is like you know and the thing about it is it's like you yeah they were manipulating others trying to make you feel alienated ostracized trying to make you feel like the outcast and maybe for some of you it did work and some of you guys it didn't but at the end of the day this person did want you to feel left out they wanted you to feel less than because they saw your shine and they did not like that at all <laughs> okay you're the peacock and this person was this little you know little parrot over here just mimicking your every move mimic this is a copycat this was a person who was a copycat too because what do parrots do they they copy what you say you know what i'm saying so this person yeah this was person was either a copycat or like a coworker. but yeah any one of those things but this person pretty much is getting karma because they try to take your shine or dim your light. They saw that you were this king or queen energy and they wanted you to feel ostracized. They wanted you to feel less than. And they pretty much wanted others to hate you or dislike you the way that they disliked you. And um, I think they were just triggered and they probably realized it now because I feel like they kind of have remorse for fucking up because I think that you know we're not gonna we're gonna get into their karma but with this orphan it's like given like what they tried to do to you happen to them because a lawyer you know the scales the justice Libra okay it was balanced Libra's karma you know what I'm saying the scales have been balanced so whatever they were trying to do to you whether it was rumors try to get you fired or something like that whatever their intention was to do to you I feel like it fucked them up and it happened to them like if they wanted you to lose money if they wanted you to lose status if they wanted you to lose their your job if they wanted you to feel less than whatever it was but yeah let's get into what their karma is for doing this shit to you okay so yeah some of you this could have been like a friend or someone also you know and i feel like they were trying to <laughs> block your love life in whatever way that they could look at the scales and libra coming through again we also have aries energy as well and there's a fiery climax and then this is harmony and resolution but look at all this fire okay so i feel like this person's gonna get burned in some way shape or form whatever way that they intended for you to get burned this person is getting burned pretty much like i said earlier and you're going to be able to support yourself you're going to be able to remain on the path remain in the position remain wherever you was and you're going to be boosted into a higher level okay you're transforming you're going to heal from this okay especially if this person betrayed you and you found out about the gossip or whatever you're going to heal from it and you're going to transform and you're going to become better because with this yes like you're going to be jumping for joy look at all these colors you're going to be livened up again okay maybe this person you know made you go through a little you know you maybe you were you were sad or you were hurt or whatever and you're gonna overcome that you're gonna this issue this situation is gonna resolve itself you're not gonna have to, to lay a finger on anything you're not you just have to continue on your path that's it you don't have to do anything the divine is taking care of it for you okay aries that it's giving i will fight you <laughs> It's giving, fight me, bitch, but it's giving that the universe is going to be fighting on your behalf. And when I say fighting, it's pretty much the karma that they're getting because the scale, here again. I think that, especially like if this person didn't want you to be happy in love or there's something about love maybe you know this person was jealous of your love life what's going to happen is you know your love life is going to improve you're going to get a boyfriend girlfriend husband wife or whatever your life, love life is going to level up your career and finance or whatever path that you're going down is going to level up you're going to have more peace and harmony and resolution less drama less arguments because this person is not going to be involved in your life and this person is going to receive all of that Maybe they're going to, you know, break up with their boyfriend or girlfriend or they're 
going to have a lot of fights or whatever, you know, there's just going to be a lot of drama in this person's life and you're going to be happy and focused on yourself, transforming and healing and moving on your path. And then this person's going to be kind of reaping the, the backlash, like, People are going to be coming at them for spreading rumors or like trying to falsify information because they're going to get called out on the fact that what they were saying was not true. Okay, so someone is going to be exposed and then people are going to be angry with them. Okay, especially if someone was like, let's say someone wanted to hit on you. This is random, but someone wanted to hit on you and, you know, this person found out about that. So they spread vicious rumors or told this person a lie or something like that. Now this person's going to find out about that and be like, yo, what the hell? And like start cussing them out or like, you know, whatever. It's that's kind of like an example. But I do feel like maybe for some of you, that is what's going to happen. Because maybe this person didn't want this person to hit you up or talk to you or engage with you or something like that. But things are changing in this person's life for the worst, okay? And you for the better. So, yeah. Let's get into your good karma. Okay, you're regaining the strength and energy and the patience to move forward towards what is destined for you. You are destined to live an abundant life. You are destined to heal and you're destined to move on from certain energies that were either trying to emotionally manipulate you, <clears throat> emotionally harm you, and or just jealous people who were kind of like angry or resentful or like took their anger out on you. I feel like there was a lot of people who took out their anger or their triggers or their frustrations out onto you and projected that onto you. You're moving away from that. Some of you guys are actually physically moving to a new space. And some of you guys, yeah, there's just a, a luck a lucky time coming towards you okay you were going through something I don't know what it was but it did feel you know you were very stuck you were very stagnant and you know you weren't being able to it was just this kind of like unhappiness and drained energy now you are going to be getting happiness even within your household your home your family life all that good stuff your marriage happiness is coming in okay if there has been unhappy moments which it definitely was you're letting go of whatever was you were having trouble healing and you're healing and you're healing those relationships you're moving forward from whatever you can't heal and you know whoever is not changing I feel like there's certain people who like kind of said they would change and stuff like that you're seeing through them you're stepping into your power and you're holding your boundaries firm and you're letting go of anyone that does not respect your boundaries anyone who makes you unhappy you're no longer putting up with anybody's bull. But yeah, some of you guys, you're you're definitely there's something about a new home, okay? Maybe if you have like um loud neighbors or you fight with your neighbors, or there's something about maybe neighbors, maybe there's like a uh property war, like you know, you're like, oh, this is my property, you have this on my property. You know, it's that kind of vibe for some of you. But whatever it is, um yeah, maybe maybe the kids they're loud and you know, I don't know what it is, but yeah, or maybe it's like the property management, you don't have a good landlord, you're going to be able to break that lease or move away or get a lawyer. So we did have a lawyer for you guys. So I do feel like, you know, there might be a lawyer involved, okay? Maybe you're getting a divorce and um, things are going to be working out in your favor. And whatever this is, I do feel like it's a big lifestyle change. And whatever this is, it is going to, you know, it's going to come to a shock to others. But it's something that, you know, you've been planning for a while and I feel like, you know, you almost lost hope, but you kept believing, you kept waiting for these ships to come in and now they're finally going to come in. So you will have some people who are mad or jealous or just, you know, kind of maybe try to be vindictive and they're not going to be able to phase you and it's going to shock them because you're just going to move on. You're going to cut them off and you're going to move away. Some of y'all are really going to move away, but emotionally you will move away, but physically for some of you. Anything else? Yeah, so whatever this situation was, whoever this toxic energy was, they're no longer going to be able to run your life. Some of you guys will be go lo going lone wolf. Yeah. And some of you guys, you know, this, if you were in a toxic relationship, you're finally going to have the strength to let go of it and heal and move on. And, you know, just happiness is going to be coming, you know, and you're going to be manifesting someone who makes you happy, who's destined for you and who brings about unconditional love. You know, it's reciprocated, not like you loving someone unconditionally and they 
love you conditionally. Anything else? All right, that's what I got for you, pal number two. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, what's going on, pal number three? It's your girl, Drail, and this is the Al's Intuition. If you are new here, as always, hit that subscribe if you are not subscribed already, and the bell so you get notified each and every time I post new content. And if this resonates, give me a thumbs up and let me know. Comment down below why, okay, baby? So, oh yeah, and if you want to book a personal, my email is in the description box. I will not message you for a reading. Beware of scammers out here in the streets, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> so let's get into it. We're going to get your current energy, and then we're going to see who is getting karma for hurting you and why. And then we're going to tap into what their karma is, and then we'll close you out with the good karma coming to you, okay? So, pal three's current energy, please. Interesting. Some of you guys could have came from another pile. Oh, do you believe in magic? Um, um, what's that movie? With Lindsay Lohan? Shit. Parent Trap. Parent Trap could be relevant. You like that movie? Something about that movie. How synchronistic was that movie, though? Am I right? So it could be some type of crazy synchronicity coming into your life in the near future. But let's talk about it. You're going to see magic all around you, okay? And you are also going to be tapping into your divinity. Some of you guys could be connected to the fairies or the fae. Yeah, but you're extremely unique and you're finally expressing your uniqueness you're allowing others to see your uniqueness you're showing who you were you're shining literally we have shining from within and hidden depth so it's like your true authentic self is going to be exposed you're going to be speaking your truth you're going to be owning your truth also something that was hidden is going to be coming to light so someone may be speaking their truth to you in regards to maybe love because there's a lot of green and that represents the heart chakra but I do feel like you know intuitively you kind of understand or know what this could be you might have an inkling of who could be speaking their truth but you know this is going to set you free this is could be some secret or something or maybe some type of memory from your childhood is going to come in and you know it's going to help you to you know heal Okay, but some question that you have is going to be answered soon, something that you have been questioning. That's going to help you to love yourself, and it's going to help you to move forward and feel worthy for whatever it is that you're trying to manifest for your good and the highest good of all involved. But yeah, I do feel like a lot of, what, if, especially if you've been doing like work or magic, candle magic, you know, setting intentions, working with the full moon, new moon, or um, affirmations, reprogramming your subconscious mind. I do feel like whatever you have been doing is working. And some of you guys could be taking a trip to the Northern Lights. Okay, that's random. Or you're going to see a shooting star soon. Yeah, that's random as hell. <laughs> but yeah, I do feel like, you know, you're you're safe. You're going to be okay. Whatever this truth is, it's, it's going to help you regardless of, you know, sometimes the truth hurts, I'm hearing. So, you know, maybe it's going to be a little painful at first, but it's something that you need. Especially with this inner child, it could be some pain that you held from your inner child that was blocking your manifestations that's finally going to be released and you're finally going to be able to, you know, purify yourself and realize, you know, nothing was your fault. It's okay. You're going to forgive who you needed to forgive, forgive yourself, etc., etc., and move forward and manifest what you need to manifest. So if that resonates, let's tap into who hurt you and what's their karma. All right. So this was somebody who, you know... I feel like you guided. This is someone from your past you probably walked away from because the wolf always gives me lone wolf, but it's also like you were a leader to this person. You were inspiration to this person. And um, for some of you, this person could make music, okay? But um, that's random. Or you guys always listen to music. But I do feel like you really helped this person. You saved this person. You saved this person and I don't know who this person was but I do feel like you held space for this person and this person may have drained you okay we have and well it says vampire but this is giving energy vampire makes you aware of that someone or something is draining your life force okay this was someone who was codependent who was constantly draining your energy 
constantly complaining would ask you for advice you would give them advice would they learn from their past no so they took from you took from you was addicted to your energy okay and you know i do feel like you know they they didn't reciprocate assumes that the rescued will reciprocate keeps rescued the rescued one needy it's like when you you would be down for this person you would help them you would go bend over backwards for this person and you supported this person and whoever this person was you know when it came down for like them to help you or when you asked for a favor or when you needed help they would not be there for you okay if you needed help support emotionally this person was not there for you but if they needed help support emotionally you would hold space for them you were down for them and it was draining and it was exhausting because i feel like this person kept coming to you with the same shit it's like somebody who would ask you for advice over and over again you would tell them the same thing they would say yeah okay yeah and they would not take that advice and then they would get hurt again or go through the same cycle it was a repeated cycle you kept throw in the line with the freaking what is this lifesaver the life raft or whatever the fuck <laughs> you kept throwing that shit and then this person would grab it and then you know they would get pulled you would pull them in and then you'd be like all right what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna jump off the boat again and what does this person do every single time they jump off the boat and then they call you like hey help pal three help there's a shark coming and it got to the point where you said, okay, well, guess what? You're swimming with the sharks now. You didn't throw it anymore. And you, you know, you learned. You learned from it. You applied whatever wisdom that you learned from every single time. You were like, okay, well, because <laughs> we have turned knowledge into wisdom and learned from your past. So this situation is, it, it was taking, you went within and you was like, okay, is this person going to change? No. What? Is this person serving my life? No. Okay? It was pretty much this person, like, you're, you're very honest, you're very truthful, and, you know, you live a certain truth, you move a certain way, and I feel like because with this elephant, because every time I think of elephants, I think of the fact that, you know, their memory is amazing, they remember where to dig to find water, like, in the dirt and stuff, if they need, because, you know, it would be droughts over there in Africa and shit, but also, I remember... <laughs> I, I shouldn't be laughing, but this lady, she freaking, like, stole this elephant's, um, child, okay? And then the, the lady got killed by the elephant because the elephant found her. And then the, the elephant went to the lady's funeral and fucking stomped on the lady's dead body. <laughs> so, I don't know why that was relevant, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you literally... <laughs> You don't forget. You'll never forget. You may have let shit slide, but I, I do feel like there's a lot that this person may have did, especially behind the scenes, that was unjust, because we do have this judge and just. So it's like, you was always honest, you was always truthful, but this person just kind of was like... And then we have honesty again. Compromises integrity and honesty, and then it says, oh, that's crazy. Honesty and integrity are a of the utmost importance you started to realize that you were honest you were you held a certain standard and this person just wasn't up to your standard they were draining you they were using you and you know when you needed shit you needed help they were not there for you so you had to drop them but yeah if that resonates let's see what's their karma for betraying and hurting you okay i feel like this person really really because, and it's not like they did it on purpose. I just think that this person was an unconscious energy vampire that was kind of, they were unhealed. They, they didn't do the work that you did. So the way that you looked at life was very different, right? So get we have get grounded. You're an empath. This person was draining your energy. It's not to say that they're a narcissist, but they definitely were draining your energy. And it was like, they were holding you back from your divine purpose you are receiving this person's karma and that's what their karma is because now you are leaving their life okay you freed yourself and you're really realizing that you're good enough okay something about this dynamic or this situation made you feel uh, 
unworthy and it triggered you okay we have earth and ground and then we have get grounded so i feel like this person made you feel all up in your head and um you know they made you i don't know because i don't the thing is i feel like you were exhausted after it was just taxing you felt drained after spending time with this person or you felt emotional because you know this person when you needed them they wouldn't help you and it made you feel hurt because it was like i put in so much work i did so much for you and um it's not to say like you know that i expect like it's not i didn't do it to expect something but the thing is, is like, what, what is the point of like, you know, what's reciprocation if we're not like an even exchange? I'm not saying if I buy you a gift that you have to buy me a gift, but if I needed help and support or I needed something, maybe I needed a, a friend to talk to, a kind ear, you couldn't even do that for me. You know? So I don't know. But somebody was triggered, okay? And um, I do feel like a flaky energy too. This person could have been flaky. So now I feel like whatever this person did to you, whether it was draining, constantly complaining, or, you know, just not getting support, I think it is going to flip because we do have this mirror picture. Like, so whatever they did to you, they're about to manifest a person or they already have manifested a person that's going to do the same to them. It's going to drain their energy. And then that's probably how they have to learn the lesson that, you know, you, you got to reciprocate energy. Now they're going to see, and it's going to be like in their face, you know, but I do feel like you're going to open your heart chakra. You're going to manifest your wishes fulfilled. Cause this person's going towards this star, which is like, you know, the star wishes a wish fulfillment. And this person's going to go through a rocky storm. Cause look at these big ass storm waves. Like they're going through some type of, rough emotional time and they're going to be getting triggered and you know the triggers that happen are going to remind them of what they did to you because they're finally going to be seeing it from the other side flip side okay anything else but yeah your heart chakra is going to be open you're no longer going to be caring about this situation anymore because you're going to heal and move forward and you're going to ground yourself Okay? You're no longer going to be affected by their energy. You're no longer going to be drained by their energy. And you're no longer going to have to worry at all about this person. Because they're no longer going to be in your life. So let's get into the good karma coming to you. A, when I say, you're receiving success, okay? You were battling some demons, okay? You were battling a lot of demons, whether it was emotionally, whether it was financially, or in the physical realm. People were uh, maybe against you. I was about to say out to get you, but maybe some people were out to get you. Okay, maybe you were going through certain spouts of people trying to trigger you because they saw your success. And I feel like you're moving past that and you're moving into a time of success, leadership. Some of you guys could be becoming an entrepreneur, but there is big emphasis on success. Also, there's something about your car. Either if you've had issues with your car, you're going to be able to fix that. You could be getting like money to fix that or you're going to finally be able to take care of it so you don't have to worry about your car or you're going to be getting a new car, leasing a new car. Somebody could be gifting you a new car, something about a new car. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, maybe you're going to be going on a road trip too. That could be relevant as well. But yeah. We have Cancer, Capricorn energy, we have Pisces energy, we have Aquarius energy, Aries energy, Gemini and Libra too. But yeah, so happiness is coming to you. You're no longer going to be stuck and stagnant due to your emotions. I feel like you're going to be regulating yourself, you know, kicking any toxic habits or removing any toxic people or leaving any toxic situations that were blocking your success and you're stepping into success. I have two cards of success. And then we also have the Seven of Cups clarified by this Nine of Pentacles. So it's like you're going to be having again some of y'all might be receiving multiple sources of income unexpected and expected incomes and you're also just going to have more money for luxury because of the new incomes and support that you're receiving from you know god's source the universe and whatever else that the money's coming in for but yeah i do feel like also you're going to be receiving a message or some type of message in regards to maybe a promotion or a position of leadership or power or something like that some of you guys could be finally writing that book or you're finally stepping into like some type of like maybe like you're finally posting your content okay and you're going to be going viral and getting success on that okay some of you guys you're moving or you're going to go on a trip 
or you're starting a new venture because you're finally healing. So maybe you're getting a new job that's going to bring you about this luxury. And also it's like you're no longer going to be confused about who you are. Some of you guys, you're gaining weight in certain ways that you want to, like, you know, in the hips, sort of, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be getting the gains, or if you're trying to lose weight, your body's going to be, I feel like your body's going to be morphing into, like, the way that you want it to look, because look at her, like, I don't know, I was just really drawn to this, like, beautiful, it's a beautiful red dress, you guys are going to be also probably getting new clothes, and some of you guys are going to be going to a party or an event, that's going to be fun and you're going to be, just be more happy. I feel like you were going through a dark time, okay? You know, maybe you had some toxic people. These toxic people are leaving and you're going to be enjoying the fruits of your labor, okay? You put in a, a lot of work and you deserve every bit of success that is coming to you. Also, you're going to be embracing your uniqueness with this, um, like, kind of peacock energy and then this fool energy, which is Aquarius, okay? <laughs> you're stepping on all the competition, baby. It, whoever's trying to stop you some of you guys are getting new shoes as well but yeah whoever was trying to stop you or distract you or emotionally hurt you or cause problems on purpose because i feel like there was people who were trying to trigger you or like you know get you out of character and shit that's all coming to an end they're gonna be exposed they're gonna get their karma and you're gonna be sitting here pretty luxurious okay sitting in the fruits of your labor. If you are single, you're going to get a lot of options in love, okay? You're going to be able to choose who you want. And if you're, you know, in a relationship, you're going to be able to just be more luxurious. Maybe your spouse is going to get a raise too, and you're going to get a raise, and you guys are going to have more money. Maybe you can go on a vacation. There's something about vacation that could be happening. Maybe someone wants to fly you out, or there's some, you guys are probably taking a trip. There's something about travel. We have multiple travel cards, so... Yeah, you're taking a new journey, a new trip, and um, you're no longer messing with people who are playing checkers. You're pay playing chess, and you're like 10 steps ahead of the game, so nobody can phase you anymore. You're going to be sitting here on your rainbow, looking down on these people who try to keep you stuck and stagnant, and you're going to understand why they do what they do. You're going to understand that that's them, that's their toxic energy, and you're no longer taking on the energy. People who try to pr project onto you, maybe you let it hit your emotions. No more, baby. You're going to be logical. You're going to be like, okay, I see you. Hurt people hurt people, baby. It's, it's just you're going to be healing, and you're going to be happy, and you're stepping into a new phase, a new life, more free, flowing, and you're just going to be able to be your true authentic self, and you're going to be surrounded by people who accept you as your true authentic self and who love you unconditionally. That's beautiful. All right, pal three, I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, what's up, pal number four? It's your girl, Drea, and this is the Alice Intuition. If you are new here, again, hit that subscribe down below and the bell so you get notified each and every time I post new content. And if this resonates, you know, let me know how or why by commenting, baby, okay? So if you want to book a personal, my email is in the description box. I will not message you for a reading, okay? Beware of them scammers out here in the streets. We're going to get your current energy, then we're going to see who hurt you and, like, how they hurt you, which you probably already know, but yeah. And then what's their karma, you know? Like, why are they getting this karma? And then what's their karma? And then we're going to see the good karma coming to you, okay? Pile number four. What's pile four's current energy? Okay, anything else? Some of you guys could be readers, psychics. Could also actually post on youtube or have like a psychic business but also you know you could do reiki healing or just be a healer or you know maybe you just create content <laughs> look at healing bam told you yeah oh you guys could be motivational speakers life coaches self-help coaches therapists big emphasis i don't know why we're talking so much about career and stuff like that it doesn't have to be a career but it, it's your passion your purpose you know, I feel like you're very much focused on creating your dream life. You have certain um, desires that you're going towards. And you know what it is, is that it's you're taking a spiritual path, okay? You're going towards, yeah, you spring into action. It's like you're, whatever it is that you're working towards, 
you're getting a boost in that. Like if you're a tarot reader, you're getting more clients. If you're a therapist, you're getting more clients. If you're a content creator, you're getting more follows, more subscribes, etc. Some of y'all could have came from another pile because I was talking about that in another pile. But I digress. You're also healing so much more. And I feel like whatever your dreams are coming in, like what, whatever your dreams are, they're coming in, okay? Because you're releasing anything that was blocking your heart chakra. You're healing your heart chakra and you're stepping into, you know, your happiness. Some of you guys could be getting a Reiki section or if you don't do it yourself. Oh my God. I swear the Mercury rec retrograde shadow phase be hitting me sometimes. <laughs> But yeah, uh, again, emphasis on healing your inner child and that's going to allow you to speak your truth to people and set boundaries and be able to focus more on what makes you happy and what motivates you. And yeah, I do feel like you're just going to be tapping into magic more, maybe doing some candle magic, doing some releasing, tapping into the full moon, new moon, any portals that are coming up and all that stuff. Also, we do have the spring equinox, I mean spring some of y'all are on the other hemisphere so it's either you're in the spring equinox or you could be in the um the autumn equinox so fall or spring is relevant so it seems as though you know you're about to start shining you're going to be glowing up and you're going to be healing your inner child healing yourself tapping into your intuition taking inspired action and you know you're just going to be more happy you're not going to be overthinking things like you used to, thinking I'm not good enough or overplaying it over and over again in your head. You're just going to take action. You're going to get more done. You're going to be so much more productive. That's what it is. You're going to have more energy to get and do what you need to, but you're also going to have more time to rest and be able to sleep. You're also going to be getting better sleep if you've been having trouble sleeping as well. So if that resonates at all, then this is your reading and we're going to get into who hurt you and what's their freaking karma. Yeah, some of y'all definitely could have came from another pile, but I feel like this is multiple people for you guys, okay? Whether it was, like, somebody who put you in a third party, okay, romantic-wise, um, someone from an old job or a job, someone who, um, yeah, like, a friend group could be, it's multiple people. And it could be just people in your community or people that you live around, okay? We even have police officers, so it could even be someone who is in the law, okay? I heard someone who tried to sue you or someone who sued you. And, um, yeah, there's some type of legal... <laughs> it says karmic lessons! <laughs> All right, look at belief systems and past situations to uncover awareness of karmic lessons. So, yeah, um, y'all, this is everyone who hurt you in the past. <laughs> no specific one person. This is anyone who did you dirty and the guys whoa this is big ass energy okay because you've always been a generous but mysterious person who you know is like the lone uh what is it the popular loner vibe it's giving okay you we have child divine so it's like you're an earth angel okay but i feel like you've you've been around the block in regards to <laughs> not around the block <laughs> Maybe some of y'all did. Hey! <laughs> but, like, you've been around the block in regards to, like, communities or, like, friend groups or, you know what I'm saying? Maybe even lovers. But, like, you've experienced a lot of people and I feel like you've been betrayed a lot because of, you know, your light. Because of your energy. Because of who you are. You have this beautiful, abundant, popular... A lot of people love you, but also a lot of people may not like that energy. You could also have really beautiful eyes. And they could be brown, but also they could be, um, you could have almond shape or green or blue. <clears throat> yeah. But anyway, there's a lot of people who, you know, maybe people who like, I don't even, even your hairdresser, if your hairdresser messed up your hair on purpose or something, I don't know what that is, or someone did a prank on you, something about prank, like if that happened or something, please comment down below. Cause I need, I, I don't know what that's about, but yeah. The police, if the police did something to you, like some shisey shit to you, you know, that they're getting karma for it. But like, I feel like it's like karma season for you because aware of karmic lessons and you're going to see the people you're going to see. Because I do feel like also certain people, um, people who spread rumors about you 
okay? People who finessed you or like, you know, it's giving people who um, tried to act like they wanted a relationship and manipulated you into sex and then left you after they got what they wanted, whoever did that to you. People who hurt you or your children or hurt you while you were a child, okay? In any way, shape, or form. I'm sorry, whatever happened to you, but like this is karma season, baby, for you, Pal 4, because you're stepping into this new, like, because of this lion, it's like Simba, the Lion King. This is your kingdom now. So everyone's going to jail. <laughs> Anyone and everyone is going to jail. You're, and you don't even need to know why. It's a mystery. It's a mystery as to how this is happening. But I promise you it is happening to all of these people. It's important that everyone follows the rules and regulations and does not betray Pal 4. <laughs> Yeah, protection for yourself and those around you. Even the people who hurt people around you, people who hurt your friends, your family, they're getting karma on your behalf. I don't know who the fuck you are, okay? Excuse my language, but you have some big ass energy, especially with this historian energy. It's like you've had a lot of past lives and whoever you were in your past life, you could have been a king or of a higher power. You hold a lot of weight in the spiritual realm as well. You could also be into, you know, history, you know, like Egypt and et cetera, et cetera, all that good stuff. Greece, um, all that. But anyway, yeah. So I don't know. People who tried to walk all over you, people who bullied you, everyone who bullied you in the past, a anyone. I don't care if they saw you for two seconds in the street and tried to make fun of you. They're getting karma, Okay. Is that enough? I think that's enough. We, we get it. Everyone who, who hurts you is getting karma. Like, <laughs> Okay, so let's move on to what's their karma? Some of you guys, it could also be like your mom getting karma and shit too. If depending on like, you know, what happened and shit or a parent or like a grandparent and stuff like that. Or you have a past loved one, either a grandparent or a mother or father who is enacting this karma on your behalf. Okay. But your karma is everything that you have asked for in this lifetime, whether you asked for it when you were a child, up until now, is going to be coming to fruition, okay? And it's going to keep happening, and it's going to be amazing, and it's gonna, like, it's gonna, like, fall into place. It's gonna be, like, again, it's cracked open, ever unfolding. It's gonna be, like, one miracle is gonna come in, because it says, have your faiths in have no have your faiths have faith in your dreams surrender to the divine you and your loved ones are safe you're going to have an overflow of abundance that you will be able to give to all of the people that you love all the people who supported you and all the people who stayed by your side and didn't betray you etc etc you're also going to be stepping into a position of power or some type of success or some type of victory Okay, whether it's like you're in a happy relationship, whether it's you're financially free, whether it's you have a new home, a new car, something that makes you happy, whether it's you're healed, you're helping others to heal, you're getting some type of manifestation. Actually, it's multiple manifestations for you guys. You're going to be healing. Okay, yeah, big emphasis on your health. If your health has been going through it, your health is going to be improving as well. Yeah, your emotions are healing, but their karma is to watch all of that happen. Watch you get everything that you want. Watch you transform into your highest and best self. Watch you continue to have faith, even though they are going to continue. Some of them are going to continue to try and harm you. And they're going to... It's going to backfire. Okay? It's going to backfire. It's not happening for you. And it, it's happening for you, not to you. So whatever... It, like they're trying to have happen to you it's going to happen to them and all your blessings are going to happen for you <laughs> you're going to release anything that was blocking you from you know stepping into your highest and best self from healing and connecting with the divine or overcoming your fears all your prayers are being answered and they get to watch that anyone who made fun of you they get to watch that and then whatever they made fun of you for is going to happen to them. Like, let's say they made fun of your hair that, or like the fact that you're bald or, you know, you have a, whatever it is, <laughs> it's going to happen to them. The divine will make it happen. I don't know how, but I know it might be painful for some of them. And, um, you know what? It's, it is what it is. You didn't do nothing. All you did was be your true authentic self. People got triggered. They acted accordingly. They made the choices. They made their bed and now they have to sleep in it. Put big emphasis on whatever they said about you. Like if they called you fat, they're going to get fat. 
If they made you fun of you being skinny, they're gonna get skinny, whatever it is. They made fun of your feet, you know, like this random as fuck. <laughs> they made fun of that long toe, their toe's gonna get long. No, I'm just kidding, but I don't know. There's big emphasis on whatever they made fun of you or whatever they tried to do to you, however they tried to harm you, it's gonna happen to them, especially if they were doing magic, because this is like giving magical vibes. So whoever tried to do magic on you, you stayed prayed up, you stayed protected, you stayed connected, and all that shit's backfiring. Your ancestors, your angels, your you have a big ass team and they are messing up anybody. And I feel like they were waiting. They were waiting to see because you still had some healing to do maybe you didn't forgive anybody just yet and i think now that you're finally forgiving and moving on and you're focused on yourself they're like okay action <laughs> but let's get into what your good karma is what good karma is coming to you right now okay when i tell you everyone is gonna have to see this everyone's gonna have to see this i feel like you're gonna get offered an opportunity and it has to do with some kind of creative venture it's something that you're gonna love and it's gonna be the justice that you deserved you've been waiting for this patiently i feel like this has been a dream of you a dream of yours since you were very young you know maybe you've always wanted to be famous or an actress or financially free or whatever and um whatever that is is coming also you're healing emotional wounds lack mentality wounds financial wounds you're going to be able to pay your debts and it's all happening because your mindset is changing you're going to be more loving and compassionate to yourself your intuition is improving as well and i feel like you know anyone who it's like all your exes all your ex best friends anyone who ever hurt you is gonna have to see this like because i feel like i don't know i'm hearing for you page it's like they're gonna see your success is going to be plastered in front of them they, there's no way that they can't see you because some of you guys you're going to go viral you're going to be on tv or something like that you're going to get the off opportunity of a lifetime that's going to put you in the public eye and all these people have to watch your success and watch your happiness and watch your growth and watch your abundance and watch you sit there on your throne as you're because this is like it's like they i mean all these bitches in my son is my son's it's like she's just looking down at this fish like how dare you even try to flop your ass up here you know what i'm saying so it's like it's not like you're gonna be like that but it's like that's how people are gonna take it because they're still stuck in sag stagnant. Whoa. Some of them... <laughs> ain't no way. <laughs> Somebody's getting saggy. But that's... I digress. Anyway. But yeah. <clears throat> also, you're going to have a new opportunity in regards to love. In regards to um, maybe a new financial endeavor that could be coming through a creative venture and you're just gonna have more passion and love and maybe sex in your life but everything that you have been waiting for patiently and the universe has been saying it's coming it's coming it's coming it's finally coming <laughs> and it's gonna bring you about happiness a lot of y'all could be even getting married or finally you know manif but this is the alchemist so everything that you have been manifesting for real for real is coming in okay also, you're going to have more confidence, more courage, and you're going to be very much very popular, okay? Very well known. Even though you're going to be chilling by yourself, you're still going to be very well known, and you're going to have enough to support your loved ones as well. Anything else? Yeah. Justice in the love field as well. Maybe certain people made you feel bad for, like, you know past loves or maybe certain people manipulated you or betrayed you in the love field and they're getting karma it's like maybe people who made fun of your love life they're going to be like going through it or getting broken up with or whatever or getting cheated on like if you got cheated on and someone made fun of you like wow how'd you get cheated on and then they get cheated on it's like that kind of vibe and then you're gonna finally be in a happy loving relationship some of y'all are definitely getting married though it's like you're going to get your dream wedding and stuff like that in your dream relationship with someone who treats you with fairness, kindness, and they love you and they're compassionate and they're patient and they support you. And, you know, a lot of people are going to be, that's their karma is either they're going to fumble the bag, they fumble the bag so they have to watch you be in this happy relationship instead of being with them. Or there's people who like made fun of your past relationships or made fun of the fact that you were single, etc, etc. And those people have to watch you in a happy relationship while they're kind of miserable in a relationship that is, yeah, you know, <laughs> It sucks to suck. That's all I'm going to say. But 
Yeah, everyone, because we have the Page of Swords here. Everyone is going to see this happening, and they're going to be stuck. They're going to be stuck. Yeah, and I just saw the Queen of Swords in reverse. They're not going to be happy. They're going to be very much negative. And you know what's funny is some of these people will continue to gossip or spread rumors or bring up your past, and they're just going to dig themselves a deeper grave. Ooh, yeah. Not my tummy. My tummy. My stummy. My... What? My stummy, my tummy, my st <laughs> Okay, we're moving on. Anyway, but yeah. That's what I got for you. And you're gonna, you know what's crazy is too, you're only gonna be surrounded by a lot of people because you're gonna be focused on self-love. You're gonna be attracting people who love you, people who only speak love to you, people who disrespect you are not gonna even have access to you anymore at all. You won't even be phased anyway, but they're they're literally, it's just, you're going to ignore their messages. They're going to be blocked. They have no access to you. So yeah, I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day, night or whatever, pop four, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.